Hello! It's me! Foxy Dotel here. This looks unusual, doesn't it? This looks very strange. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so today, instead of doing a Minecraft video, what we are going to be doing is editing a video that I recorded over the last couple of days, which is episode 20 of my Truly Bedrock Realm. And if you don't know what this is, this is Adobe Premiere Pro CC, and this is these. Uh, 22 files here are all of the video clips I took for the video. So the way this works, we've got a screen here, which is the window that we're going to see what is has been edited or what we're doing in the edit. This is our project window, which has got all of our files that we need. And if we scroll down here, we've got all the music that I use and sound effects and things like that. And down here, we've got different effects we can add to the video. And this is our timeline, which consists of a bunch of different video channels and a bunch of different audio channels. And each of the audio channels I have set up differently depending on what I want them for. So the first audio track, which is this one, is going to be my vocal audio, which has these effects on it to make it louder and clearer. And then the second one is for the game sound, which is a little bit quieter, so it's got some sound reduced from that. And then we've got the music channels and things like that to add on there as well. Now this video is not going to be, it's not going to have a great deal of massively exciting Geraldini stuff. It's a building episode in which I start working on the bank. So uh, it should be should be pretty fun. So I've basically got this set up ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do is drop in our first clip, which is the introduction of my video, which I can then zoom into and find where I started talking, basically. I want to know first, before I do anything else, can you guys hear me or hear this when I start playing it? Did you hear that? Can you hear the sound coming from this? Because if you can't, then I need to do some fiddling about. I hear nothing. No, I don't hear that. Oh, dear. Okay, hang on then. This could take some fiddling about. One second, guys, while I try and sort this out. So this is my Streamlabs OBS setup, and I need to make the audio for this for premiere come through this and i don't know the exact settings to do that so i'm going to try and figure it out on the fly as we go it's not that one maybe i can do some actual fiddling about inside of premiere pro itself then let's get the audio hardware thingy up ah right that will be why uh, let's go to that one oh this this could mess everything up <laughs> Let's hope this works. Okay, let's try that. Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Foxy Hotel, here on the Truly Bedrock. Did that work? That should have worked, I think. Good. Right, okay. So, first things first, then. Hello, We've got where I messed it up. I always mess up the first mine. one. So, I'm going to use the cut tool. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to slide the actual bit right to the beginning, which is the bit where I did it right. And then I'm going to bring it back slightly and add a bit of silence in to start so that... It doesn't come straight in. So now I'm going to play it. Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Foxy Hotel, here on the Truly Bedrock. So where I say Truly Bedrock, truly be I want this graphic, which is this one. This is basically a graphic which has the logo, then le leave a like, and then subscribe. So that's like a preset time thing. I always bring that in line when it says Truly Bedrock. So now that should come on the screen when I say Truly Bedrock. Well, here on the Truly Bedrock Survival Realm. And today we are going to be working on the bank finally. And I need to face this way, don't I? Yeah, we're going to work on the bank. But before we do that, I'm just going to go downstairs. Oh, eggs, man. Eggs, stop laying eggs. Chicken in the soup. And why aren't you cooked yet? I'm hungry. Yeah, um... Yeah, before we do that, I just want to show you that I have managed to make a successful trip to the nether. That's right. I went quartz mining and I didn't die. Are you ready? Look at that. A whole thing of quartz there, a load more there, and there's some lava there as well that we're going to need. I am expert. I did it all myself without any help and I didn't die and I didn't crash or I didn't fall in lava at all. There were a few risky, tricky moments and... If you're interested to see that trip to the nether, then at some point soon I'm going to be releasing a new podcast and that video will be the background to it, but not right now. Right now we're going to be working on the bank, so I want a load of these to take with me. So let's do that and let's see if there's anything else in these chests that I could possibly use for building the bank. Right, okay, good. I didn't make any mistakes in that, so I don't need to make any edits there. I'm going to trim off that silence off the end there and drag in the next clip 
where I should be in front of the bank. Yes, I am. So let's play this. Okay, so back at the bank. The first thing we're going to have to do is get rid of this cactus, which I'm very sorry, whoever's put it there, I guess it's... So I didn't make a mistake straight away, so I can trim the silence off that, bring it close to that one, and then I'm going to use a cross dissolve to go between, which basically is a video editor's way of saying time has gone on between these two clips. Building the bank. Okay, so who doesn't hear what I've got people in the chat saying I don't hear something what can't you hear the audio on the video is pretty low is it use for building the bank okay so back at the bank the first thing we're gonna have to do is get rid of this cactus which I'm very sorry whoever's put it there I guess it's probably rogue fox that's done the terraforming round here or maybe even prowl I think prowl was walking on this stream but yeah we can't really have cactuses in the way of the door of the bank to the the door of the Good. words you know what I mean yeah and this is this is it Right, we made a bit of a mistake there. Let's just play that back again. We have again. cactuses in the way of the door of the bank to the, the door of the words. You know what I mean? Well, that was okay. I kind of <laughs> blundered my way through it, but it'll do. That's fine. Yeah, and this is this is it. So I did mention briefly in a previous episode, this first bit here that's level is going to be... Now, can you see we got a bit of a gap there? Door though? of the words. You know what I mean? Yeah, and this is... This is so we're, basically, we've gone from outside of the bank to inside the bank, and we've started a new paragraph. So what I like to do at these particular points is start adding in the music tracks. And the ones I normally start with are the Ben Sound ones, which are... You'll know these from my videos, and you'll also know some of these from... Uh, uh, well, this one, for instance. I'm pretty sure most people recognise that one. But I normally go with either ukulele or... A uh, little idea or cute stuff like that. So I'm going to chuck one of those in there like that and then play this along the, the side door of it. Of the words, you know what I mean? Yeah, and this is this is it. So I did mention briefly in a previous episode, this first bit here that's level is going to be like... Rich D has no sound. Uh, internal. Well, how come you don't have sound, but other people do have sound? I'm very confused why some people don't have sound. What's going on? So I did mention briefly in a previous episode, this first bit here that's level is going to be like the bank... Uh, internal bank bit, if you like, where the reception... Now, that music's a little bit loud, and as you can see from this, I've actually got different music tracks that have a different amount of reduction on each of the audio. So, minus 10, that's how many decibels it is. So, these are... Ben sounds tend to be quite loud, so I'm going to move that down a couple onto the minus 15 track, and that should be a bit quieter in the mix then, so that you can... Uh, yeah, so that you can hear me without the music being overpowering. Yeah, and this is this is it. So I did mention briefly in a previous episode, this first bit here that's level is going to be like the bank, uh, internal bank bit, if you like, where the reception and stuff is. And then there's going to be a, like a door to the vault, and then it's going to, yeah, you're going to go that way to find the vault. And it's going to be a little bit like, is it the, the Caves of Moria? Is that the right word from Lord of the Rings? I love Lord of the Rings, but I can never remember other words because they all sound so strange, but quite similar. But yeah, and you know where they go down the caves and it's all lava and they're jumping from pillar to pillar? I want it to be like that. So I've got a lot of work to do down there, a lot of lava to place, and a lot of uh, a lot of slabs and things to do to make it not spawnable. But that's what that's going to be like, and that's going to lead to a very, very secure vault. Vault? Vault. But before we do any of that, I need to actually work on... Thank you, Levy. Front of this Levi, bank is it? it or Levy? Like... But before we do any of that, I need to actually work on, obviously, the front of this bank to make it look like a bank, I guess. And I don't want to just do the generic sort of quartzy thing, but I think that's probably where I'm going to end up going. Right, okay, so that's the end of that one. We're going to bring in the next clip. Hopefully I haven't made a mistake at the beginning of this one. I'm going to assume I haven't and put my cross dissolve on there because, again, time has passed, and we're going to play through that cut and make sure it's okay, nice and smooth. Where I'm going to end up going. Okay, so Levy. this is what I've got so okay. far. It's by no means finished. It looks like it needs some sort of detail, maybe some banners or something hanging from it because it's very, very plain and it does stick out like a th sore thumb at the minute. I added these gold blocks in there to sort of signify that it was the bank, but I don't like them. I think I'm, I might leave the ones there in effectively like where the eye holes are for this face of this building, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to leave those ones there. What I'm going to do instead, if I can find the chest where I'm going to put these things, is uh is yeah put some pillar blocks there instead i think right so we've got a gap here obviously i paused while i was recording before i started saying something else so we're going to go to the beginning of the audio and you can see where the audio starts and stop on this which is quite handy so i can cut between that and then if i zoom right in i can make sure that i'm not cutting off the end or the beginning of any of my words so let's have a look at that blocks there instead i think as you can see i've tidied up all of the inside here it's here probably as well a little bit quick getting that really cup, messy fine. trying to work because obviously i brought this building back quite a lot so what I had before I had the gold blocks is I had pillar blocks going horizontally across like so. 
I, Dry Fish says, it reminds me of the stock exchange. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to avoid, but at the same time, how can you make a big quartz banky looking building not look like the stock exchange? Because they went for pretty much the most generic looking quartzy building there is. So it's very difficult to, to do this without it looking like that, sadly, but... You know, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. I have I never sort of watched the Hermit Craft video back to get inspiration from them, but obviously I do watch the Hermit Craft video, so it's that that image is going to be in my mind. So, yeah, exactly. Zoe says all of these modern bank builds look the same. They do, they do, unless and unless you do some like serious research and try and make it look like something that existed before, they're all going to be very sort of generic. You've only got the same few quartz blocks to work from, so they're going to be very similar so and although it's it's more white i think it i think it adds a better feel i don't know actually i don't know i need something there oh i don't know hmm hmm there we go i think that adds a little so there we go what i've done there is a, exactly the same thing i did before trim the silence off the beginning of the next one and put the cross dissolve in there just to bring that cut in nicely mm. There we go. I think that adds a little bit more depth to it. And then if we maybe just have those as windows at the side, so just maybe like a dark glass in there just to bring out some, uh, yeah, difference in colours. I think that works pretty well. It's built quite nicely into the landscape. This hill I'm going to have to do something about because it's very flat round. No, no, all of them look the same in real life, says Loy. Well, I guess so. I guess if you worked in that industry, if you were like, you know, some sort of surveyor of greek architecture that we're looking at all these different things you'd be able to tell massive differences between them but i guess it's like anybody that does just sort of sees them like i don't know randomly you're always gonna think they look fairly similar i guess it's very flat round there but that's easy enough to sort out and then just the top of it the top of it looks really weird and i don't really know what to do about that so i don't know if you can tell but at this point you in the audio can you see how some of my talking is quite quiet and some of it's quite loud now that's a bit of an issue i have because i move my microphone as i'm recorded i move my seating position so in order to counter the difference in audio then so it comes through about the same you, this is the output on the audio about and i want it all to be at the there, same level so i don't keep out. going quiet and, and loud then just the top of it what i do is i've added all of these effects which are basically limiters and processing things to and a compressor to make sure that even if my vocal is quiet it will bring it up to the same level as the loud stuff so that people aren't like when i get excited or move close to the microphone no one's getting deafened hey val by the way val's here in the chat val's one of my patrons long time subscriber hi val how you doing yeah uh lost my train of thought then basically so you don't have to keep adjusting the uh, volume on your device or your computer when you're listening to my videos they should all be pretty much exactly the same volume weird and i don't really know what to do about that I guess bit, a big sign maybe that says Right, I don't want that bit, that's a load of rubbish. So I'm gonna come into this bit now and assume that this bit is sort of moving on from that. So let's have a look what we've said at the end of this bit. Top of it looks really weird and I don't really know what to do about that. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I've extended the top bit up. So there we go. The top of it looks really weird and I don't really know what to do about that. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I've extended the top bit up so that it comes round a bit more and it's a little bit wider, so it doesn't look quite so weird. And inside, it's, yeah, it's not bad at all. This has gone like a weirdy colour, though, because it needs a sea lantern behind it to lighten that up. So if I put that there, we shouldn't get that weird sort of purpley darkness effect there. I think that's okay. I think that looks pretty good. It does need some sort of detail on it, maybe like a row of buttons or something along those bits just to give it some highlights. I don't know. I might have to speak to Daphne or someone about that. But other than that, I think that's pretty good. So I suppose I get better get rid of these dirt towers that I've made everywhere. So right, now I, the front's pretty well. Hang on, stop, everywhere. stop, stop. Things going on without me. So at the end of that, I pretty much finished a sentence and then I waffled. So this last bit here is pretty much just pure waffle. I can get rid of that. Let's just listen to it again. I might have to speak to Daphne or someone about that. But other than that, I think that's pretty good. If I ended that there, that's a perfect sort of end of a sentence, but then I go on. So I suppose I get better get rid of these dirt towers that I've made everywhere. Completely pointless. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to move the next part up to that, and I'm going to put that dissolve in there to suggest again that time has gone on between quit clips. Now, the music has run out. What I don't want to do is just slap another music track on right behind it like that that's pointless what we'll do is we'll signify we've got a new section of the video or a new sentence structure by adding it where the cut line is now we can bring it forward as Lloyd pointed out to me the other day this is called a j cut when you have the music starting before 
the uh, the clip starts, or you could do an L cut, which is when the music starts afterwards. I normally either bring it back. Whoa, where's it gone? Oh no, I've pressed buttons. Yeah, I, I know that normally either bring it bang on the actual cut line, or I bring it slightly further forward like a J cut. So let's listen to that and see how that comes out. Other than that, I think that's pretty good. So now that the front's pretty much done, albeit with a few sort of added touches missing, I think. Right, that was complete gobbledygook. I'm guessing I probably start that again. I don't know. So now that the front. Yeah. So so you can see there, I've made a mistake and I've just started again without start stopping the recording. So let's get rid of that first bit and go into that, and hopefully that'll sound no, better this time. I think that's pretty good. So now that the front of the bank is pretty much done, albeit a few little bits of decoration missing, just. To do I realise how much of a headache my background music is for the recap people? Yes, Loy, but I don't make my videos for the recap people. I make them for my viewers who have all said many, many times on the various polls I've done, they prefer my videos with music in. So, uh, yeah, tough to the recap people, I guess. Sorry, guys. Decoration missing just to spruce it up a bit. What we need to work on now is the inside of the bank, and we haven't left ourselves a great deal of room here, so it's not going to be a very big room. And all I want to do is just make it look decent on the inside, have a little desk where people can basically deposit their items, and obviously a door that leads us towards the vault. So it's not going to be a very big room at all, it doesn't need to be, it's only going to serve a very, very simple purpose. And there's a shape. Right, this music's really loud compared to my vocal in this bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it onto the track above, which has, which will reduce the volume of that a bit. It's going to serve a very, very simple purpose, and there's a shape, it's not my... This video, CT Clunker has asked, when do I plan on releasing this video? This is going to be Tuesday's video. My sheep, though, I got my sheep back. Hello, random sheep, that's not my sheep. I've just come over to uh, Prowl and Slack's Island to see if... Right, now this part of the video I recorded, but I'm I, I'm not actually going to leave this bit in. I remember recording this, and after, I finished, after I'd recorded it, I thought, actually, I'm going to get rid of that. Basically, it's me pointing out how much of a lag fest Prowl's bass is, and then... Uh, then realising actually it's not too bad after all. But I'll play it for you guys so you can see it, but it's not going to make it into the video. I've just come over to uh, Prowl and Slack's Island to see if I can find a little bit of leather kicking about. And I know Prowl's got a lot of cows. Now, we mentioned in a couple of videos ago that Prowl, every time he logs on, there's this unknown amount of lag. And he said, oh, there's nothing laggy around my base. Nothing laggy around my base at all. Well, okay, there's only a handful of cows here, I guess, but... What about all of those, Prowl? Millions and millions and millions of cows, and look. Look, he's got, like, leather and beef for days. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as I'm making out, but still. Still, entities are, like, the number one cause of lag on the bedrock edition of Minecraft. Like, entities are lag crazy. Oh, but you've got all those sheep, Fox, you don't tell. Yeah, but they're not all stuck in the same block. They're not all colliding with each other permanently. They're all, they've got enough room to move about. They do bump into each other, but those cows, when they're in a bunch like that, when they're all grouped together on one block, they are sending millions and millions of, like, lines of code is being processed every single tick. Uh, loads of code is being processed every single... So I, uh, I realised I was sort of wandering about not really looking at much as I was trying to explain this so I then go back over to it so I can explain it properly. When you get a bunch of entities in a huddle like that all stuck in one block you basically got this bunch of code that runs every single tick to try and determine where each one of those cows can go because the game doesn't like them all being pushed together and there's code in the game that says if the cows are all, or if there's an entity all on the same block then spread them out because that's not good so the game's trying really hard every single tick like 20 times a second to move all of those cows but it can't it can't do it so it's just like an extra however ever many however many cows there are is another line of code that's being run, or another process, not just one line of code, but another entire process that's being run every single game tick to try and move that cow. So if you've got loads of entities, you've got loads of animals, move them, spread them about, don't have them all on the same block, which obviously is going to break his farm, but I don't think he needs 20 million cows <laughs> all, all there together. <laughs> So yeah, that, I had a fair point there, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. It's it's not worth moaning about in the video and causing any aggro. And to be honest, for poor old Plow, but Prowl, bless him, he's had a bit of a tough time recently. So I am going to leave him alone. I'm going to completely cut that out of the video, and we're going to go on to the next section of the video. Back. Hello, random sheep. That's not my sheep. 
Right then, we are not... Okay, so we're back. Right, okay, I made a mistake Machine. at the beginning of that one as well, and I quickly changed it, so we'll just chop the beginning of that off and put the dissolve in. Okay, so we're by no means finished, but things have moved along quite a lot since the last time I recorded a clip. Yeah, it's, uh, it, <laughs> things have moved... It's been a little while, so this hasn't changed a great deal at the front. What I've done is I've added the inside of the bank, which is very small and modest. And what we've got here is basically a little door there, which goes to our storage area for now, just so I've got access to that. We've got a box here, which is empty. We've got another box here, which is also empty. And then we've got an instruction book here. And we've also got this no entry staff only door, which is going to lead to the vault, which obviously no one will go through because it says uh, staff only no entry on it. Right, anyway, so how this works, I've made a book. How The way this is going to work is basically you will come in, you will buy a bank approved shulker box, you will rename it to your name, your player name, and then you will put your items in it and deposit it in there and it will be automatically taken away into the vault. So I've got this book that basically says, King Fox's most secure bank in the world. Prasad says, do big projects like the bank on live stream? Well, to be honest with you, I nearly did, instead of doing this edit today, work on the next part of the bank. But the next part of the bank is actually going to be where I get into all of the vaults and the redstone and stuff. So not only would that be a massive headache to do on the live stream, but also I don't want to give away my secrets. I want this to be secure. A lot of the stuff's not going to make it in videos. Chronicles of Laura's here. She says, hey, Foxy, I made it onto one of these finally. Nice to have you here. If people don't know who Chronicles of Laura is, she's now looking after both my Facebook page and my Twitter account, so she can become a moderator. There you go. You're welcome. That, thank you for joining us. Don't uh, hope you don't fall asleep. This is probably one of the most boring live streams ever, but there we go. Spoilers, at least. In the world, how it works. To deposit your items into the bank, place your items inside a sugar box renamed with your player name. For example, Foxy no -tail. Place your renamed sugar box full of your valuables into the deposit chest. The items will automatically be secured inside the vault. To retrieve your items, arrange a time with Foxy to have your items retrieved from the vault. Basically, there's no way to get them back on your own. You need me to go in and uh, do all of the clever bits to get them back out of the vault. Now, I kind of go on a little bit with this book. I don't like book reading in Minecraft. It go can go on a bit and it can be a bit boring. So what I'm going to do for this whole bit, as soon as I start talking about the book, is I'm going to just speed up the audio. So it will sound a bit weird, but it will get it over and done without the way. King Fox is So let's get to the end of it. Service. So uh, I think everyone will appreciate it. did this cost? Depositing your items inside the bank is free. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing this as a free service. Yeah, that's free. So that's... Oh, there's there's bits where I just talk normally as well, which I'm not going to speed up. There's no up. way to get them back on your... ...into the deposit chest. The items will automatically be secured inside the vault. Right, so... This bit's just normal talking, that bit is reading, and then this next bit's just normal talking. Doing this is a free service, so uh, I think everyone will appreciate that. However, if you wish to use bank-approved chilker boxes, these are two diamonds each and must only be used in the bank. So people... in the bank. So people can use their own chilker boxes if they want, but they can also buy them if they don't have any spare. But please note the use But please... Please note the use of unapproved sugar boxes not provided by the bank may result in lost or missing items. The bank takes no responsibility for lost or missing items deposited in unapproved sugar boxes. So yeah, you know, you can you can use your own sugar boxes if you want. Boxes. So yeah. Right, okay. So all of those bits now, we've got the bits where I'm reading from the book. We can speed those up. But before I do that, Rage Falcon says, "Hey Foxy, what mic do you use?" Uh, it's a Rode something it's a it's actually a singing microphone rather than like a, a broadcasting microphone or anything like that but it's a pretty good one so hopefully it sounds okay did this cost right i'm doing right i'm going to speed these up probably to about double speed the boxes these are two and hopefully that won't sound too weird but please note that you Which is just going to speed it up because book reading in Minecraft is really boring. So uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll sound a little bit better like this. We'll see. Let's see what it sounds like when we play that back. Obviously, I'll sound more like a chipmunk now, which I can change, but I think that maybe would be a little bit funny. I don't know to get them back out. 
Dryfish says, would you go end raiding on a live stream? An easy collab idea. It's boring. It's boring. End raiding so boring to watch. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but when I see like a hermit or anyone's put out an end raiding video, I'm just like, no, I've seen it. I've done it. It's boring. It's boring. Couldn't imagine anything more boring <laughs> to sit wa and watch through. So no, I don't think I do a live stream on that. It's not very exciting, is it? Out of the bolt. Okay, that's way too fast. That's way too chipmunky. <laughs> That was ridiculous. We can do maintain audio pitch, which will make it sound normal, but just faster. How much did this cost? Depositing your items inside the bank is free. I could leave it like that, but I still think it's a little bit too fast. So we'll probably go to maybe 175 on that. See how that sounds. How much did this cost? Depositing your... Still too fast. So 150. How much did this cost? Depositing your items inside the bank is free. We didn't actually do the beginning bit, did we? Hmm. How it works to deposit... King yeah, I need to do this bit as well. Mistakes were made. Maintain audio pitch. There we go. It's not reducing it massively, but it, I don't know. It's probably not even worth doing it at this point, to be honest. But it's okay. I don't care. So I've got this book which basically says, King Fox's most secure bank in the world. How it works. To deposit your items into the bank, place your items inside the sugar box, renamed with... Oh, not 15. Oh, no. Made a mistake. Uh, Rage Falcon says, end raiding is not boring if it's a collab. Well, I don't know. I think it is. I think it is. If you've got two people in a collaboration in two different places doing two different things, then I, it's not my cup of tea anyway. Maybe, you know, everyone's different. Everyone has their own things that they enjoy. I don't enjoy it. World, how it works. To deposit your items into the bank, place your items inside a sugar box renamed with your player name. For example, Foxy No Tell. Place your renamed sugar box full of your valuables into the deposit chest. The items will automatically be secured inside the vault. To retrieve your items, array... Oh, that's fast as well. ...danger time on your own. You need me to go in and uh, do all of the clever bits inside the vault. To retrieve your items, arrange your time with Foxy to have your items retrieved from the vault. Basically, there's no way from the vault. There we go. So that should be just about all of that bit dealt with. I've just got to bring those all in so that they all come together if I can. This is the only thing I don't like about Premiers. There's no, well, apparently is in the new version. There is an easier way to shift all of the clips ahead of where your cut is back again. But I don't know what the, I don't know what it is. So I have to always select them and do it individually, which is fine when you've only got like a little bit like this. But when you've got a really like complicated one, let's go to my like hospital video. Was that ep episode 17? No, it can't have been 17, 16 maybe. Yeah, it was episode 16. Let's open that one up. And when you've got millions and millions of different things going on, it can be an absolute nightmare. Where's, uh, where's a good bit with lots of stuff going on? Yeah, not, not maybe that much going on in these ones either. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm rambling on about stuff I don't need to ramble on about. Let's go back to the video and uh, do all of the clever bits to get them back out of the vault. How much did this cost? Depositing your items inside the bank is free. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing this as a free service. So uh, I think everyone will appreciate that. However, if you wish to use bank approved chocolate box. Oh, that's gone back to <laughs> chipmunk. <laughs> no. These are two diamonds each. I must only be used in the bank. So people can use their own sugar boxes if they want, but they can also buy them if they don't have any spare. But please note the use of unapproved sugar boxes not provided by the bank may result in lost or missing items. The bank takes no responsibility for lost or missing items deposited in unapproved sugar boxes. So yeah, you know, you can you can use your own sugar boxes if you want and save yourself two diamonds. But uh, if you put your unnamed ones or if you put your own sugar boxes in there, I can't guarantee that they're going to safely get inside the vault, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so... We need some sugar boxes, and I just happen to have been into... Right, there's a big gap between anyway, so, and we need some sugar boxes, so I'm just going to cut that gap out, move it closer to itself. Anyway, so, we need some sugar boxes, and I just happen to have been into my jewel chest and got a load of diamonds out, and I'm going to try and go and buy out all of the sugar boxes from Rogue Shop. Hopefully he's got a few in here. Has he got any sugar boxes? He's got two. Great, is that it? How much are these now, then? Let's have a look. Four diamonds each. Wow. So I'm going to be losing money on these, but people can obviously reuse them, which is fine. Four diamonds each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How much? There you go, Rogue. Thank you very much. So that's two sugar boxes. I don't know how much.
Right, so we don't need that first bit, which was just me waffling on about actually paying for them. We'll cut that out. Use them, which is fine. There you go, Rogue. Thank you very much. So that's two sugar boxes. I don't know how much business we're going to get, so I don't think we're going to need millions of shulker boxes, but we'll uh, we'll grab a few from Silent's thing. Right, Silent doesn't have any shells left, but he does have all of these shulker boxes. Let's see how much these are each. Four shulker boxes each for those as well. So you see that clip didn't actually need a, a like a transition there because it's still looking at the box, so you don't even notice there's been a cut in that part of the these video. These are each. Four shulker boxes. You wouldn't, unless you were really looking for the mouse movement. You can see the mouse changes position quite quickly. You wouldn't even know there was a cut there. See how much these are each. Four shulker boxes each for those as well. So, yeah, we'll take a bunch of those as well. It's not ideal, but it'll do. There we go. We've got ten shulker boxes altogether. That sh right, now the rest of this bit is kind of insignificant until we actually get back to the bank and I, just, I show how many sugar boxes I've got. So we, we don't need any of that. That's just me saying how many I've bought. It's completely pointless information. So we'll cut right forward in time until I've actually got them back and I've changed them all to the yellow bank colour. So, there we go. All of the sugar boxes are now yellow. We can put them inside here and people can pay, the, pay for those two diamonds each. But they're only allowed to use them in... Ashley says, I paid him di five diamonds for one of them. Was that rogue, was it? Did I pay him too many diamonds? It's not impossible. <laughs> I need to check that out now. Right, let's uh, let's move that over here and let's just bring that out so I can have a look through. I don't want to overpay. I probably took it back out again, to be fair. I can't imagine me paying too much money. It just wouldn't happen. I just... I just <laughs> items are just far too val valuable. Not items, diamonds. Oh, yeah, so there's five there... You're right. I paid him an extra diamond. Oh, no. <laughs> he owes me a diamond. Oh, no. As if I made that mistake. Oopsie. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. A bunch of those as well. It's not ideal. No wonder I've never do. got any diamonds. And there we go. All of the shulker boxes. Right, there's quite a long gap there, so I'm going to cut the silence off the end of those two, bring that together. Those as well. It's not ideal, but it'll do. And there we go. All Hello, the people. That's the first time yellow. in my we'll stream. Put them inside here, and people can pay though pay for those two diamonds each. But they're only allowed to use them in the bank. They can't buy two dime. They can't buy these. They're only allowed to use them in the bank. They. So there's a there's a mistake here. Now this is an awkward mistake because it's one of those situations where I've carried on talking and only repeated half of the original sentence. So let's listen to the mistake. But they're only allowed to use them in the bank. They can't buy two dime... They... So that's the mistake, and it's the and then I go on to do the they again. They can't buy these. So I need to cut it where it goes from one part of the sentence to the next one, and it's a fine line in between. So we've got... The bank. They can't... So that's the they. This little bump here is the they. They can't... So I need to bring that bit as similarly as possible over to here so it seems almost seamless. They're allowed to use them in the bank. They can't buy these and there spend two diamonds fine. and then take them and use them. They're only for use inside the bank. So uh, I'll be able to tell, basically. And, uh, yeah, the payments just go in this chest here. So at the moment, when they put a shulker box in there, it's not going to go anywhere because there's no redstone. And also, we haven't actually built a vault yet. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit ahead of myself with this. So hopefully people... I aren't going to start depositing just yet because I've not put anything out there to say it's ready. But what I might do in the meantime is just grab... Right, I think this is probably all waffle as well, but we'll listen, listen through it. Grab a chest out of here, and if we go around the back of this thing, at the moment the box where you deposit is just there. Let's see if we can just pop another chest underneath. So if anyone does use it, at least it's going to go somewhere. It's not just going to stay in that shulker box. Right, so there's the deposit chest. If we put another... Yeah, that's waffle. So I get rid of all that, move this up, and then do it like that. And the reason I get rid of the waffle is because, you know, we're only on... What clip are we on here? We're on number 8 out of 22, and we're already at nearly 9 minutes through the video, and I obviously don't want the video to go on forever. So we just cut out as much of the insignificant rubbish as possible, see how long the video is when it actually gets to the end of it, and then I might even trim it down some more if it's too long at that point. You might notice that we have no music going on at this point, so I'm probably... Probably going to wait to the end of this next clip, and then as we move on to a new section altogether, then add some more music in then. So hopefully people... Extreme Game DNA says, how do I come up with ideas for videos? I don't know. No idea. <laughs> so hopefully people 
as, aren't going to start depositing just yet because I've not put anything out there to say it's ready. Right, so there's the deposit chest. If we put another chest there, just like that for a second, and then all we've got to do is put a hopper facing into that, and that will, yeah, that will take anything out from the chest on the inside and put it in the other chest. So it's not the vault. That's not what the vault is going to be. We are going to have a secure vault, but that will just allow us to actually po deposit things for now, and that way people can start using the bank. Right, so... That actually was fine, all that waffle I cut out, you wouldn't have even noticed because it did make sense from what I said at the end of that clip to the beginning of that one, which is good. Very good, right. I guess the next part of this that uh, Right, I guess the next part... So we made a mistake there. <laughs> Let's cut that out. Next part. Very good, right. I guess the next part of this that uh, Right, I guess the next... So we'll get rid of all that mistakey bit, move that across, put another cut in there. In the bank. Right, I guess the next part of this then is to actually start building the vault. So I'm going to have to find a location for the vault down there somewhere and actually start building this thing. Great. See you in a minute, I guess. Right, so that's like the end of a section, if you like. So we've we've built the outside of the bank. That was one section. We've built the, the bank room. That's the next section. And then, then the next bit, next bit, we're going to be working on like the main part. So that's that's a good group there of bits. So the next clip which is, I believe, number nine. Oh, no, number time was rubbish. I've got rid of that. Number 10. We're going to be probably... I must have took a break in real life before I started this bit. So this is going to be a whole new sort of, I don't know, mood, if you like. And so we're going to have to bring music in that suits it as well. So let's listen to what I did. It looks like I may have made a mistake here and waffled on and then started again, but we'll see. Okay, so I have... Yeah, you're right. Ben Creole says, I didn't notice an anvil so, so people can rename the shulkers. I know, I completely forgot to add that in. I, uh, I will be adding that in the next episode. <laughs> so, you, this the video won't give you any ideas on how to rob it because I haven't done the vault yet. So uh, if that's the only reason you're here, <laughs> don't waste your time. <laughs> okay, so I have now added in the first part... Prasad, can you not talk about Endgame, please, or any Avengers stuff? Avoid spoilers. If you, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Lloyd, delete, delete. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I've avoided everything there is to see about uh, the Endgame and Avengers stuff, apart from, obviously, the trailers. I don't, I, everyone wants to talk about theories and confirm this, that, and the other, and all the leaks that have come out. I don't want to hear it. I'm desperately waiting for it to come out so I can see it with fresh eyes and not be skewed by other people's ideas. You find if you, um, or hear it or read it, don't talk about something that isn't relevant. That's right, Zlo, yeah, good idea. But yeah, my point there is, if you watch all of these videos about potential theories and what other people have come up with, or directors come like commentaries or confirm this, that, and the other, when you actually go to watch the movie, you watch it looking for those things. And rather than just sitting back and letting your brain go to mush and enjoying the film for what it is, you you're looking out for stuff all the time and then if if those things don't come out in the film that you were looking out for you walk out with a sense of disappointment that you shouldn't have because if you just watched the film and you'd never even heard of it before you probably really enjoy it so yeah you can have those conversations on your own but just not in the not in here <laughs> Sloy says, but yeah, Howard the Duck comes out and kills Thanos. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Who knows? Okay, so I have now added in the first part of the defense system. No. No, I haven't. There's no so that's a, yeah, that's a big mistake there. So let's cut there. We're going to put a... We'll actually put a bit of silence at the beginning of that one just because it's... Yeah, it's a big... It's a gap. And also, the other thing to note, as much as I don't really edit my videos for monetization purposes, YouTube's got a, a system where it'll actually automatically determine the best place in your videos to put adverts. So if you leave a gap with no audio in it, YouTube looks at that and thinks, ah, oh, that's a good space for us to put an advert without us cutting someone off their sentence halfway through. So if you've got a natural break in your video, if I was to say dip that to black at the end of that bit and dip that to black at the end of that bit so we get yeah, a proper cut like that, YouTube right would look then. at that and go, well, that's a good place for an advert. We'll put an advert in there. But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to bring those together and leave a slightly longer pause than normal just to signify that that is like a a stage in the video where it's moved on from one thing to the next. Does that make sense?
Right, so we need some more music now. I'm probably going to go for Little Idea because I quite like that one again. It's another Ben soundtrack, and I'm just going to pop that there right on the cut. See you in a minute, I guess. Right then, I have now added our first security system. So if we go through the no entry door, this is what's going to lead us to the vault. And we have a very small room with a button and a minecart. And the idea here is that there's a bed behind there. So the first thing you're going to have to do if you want to access the vault is you're going to have to click on that bed to basically get into bed. Right, so I made a mistake here. This uh, security system I've done, as you'll see in a minute as I'll explain it properly, the idea is that you set your spawn point on the bed and then you kill yourself and then you'll spawn in the room with the bed and that's how you get through. So the idea is you can only get into the main part of the vault with completely naked with no tools or anything, but I failed to remember that at night time you'll be able to actually just sleep in the bed and then end up in there so what i'm going to be doing is making that hole that i clicked through a second ago where is it that hole there i'm going to make that only appear during the day using daylight sensors and redstone but i haven't done that for the sense of this video yet but it's something i have thought about so we need to find out where i actually start talking about this probably properly and get it right okay so you come into this room which so i've started back at the come into this room bit and a minecart and the idea security system so if we go through the no entry door this is what's going to lead us to the vault and we have right so i've got to try somehow and cut this bit out and uh, and add that in there and make that seamless because i haven't exactly yeah made that easy for myself so if we go through the no entry door so that would be a good point to do it but my my audio is not very good because i say door and then merge my my voice into the next word without a gap door this is what's going i want to do it before this this is this is let's see if i can do that no entry door okay so you come into this room which no, has got do. very it's little okay. in it other than the minecart and a button and through the gaps on the other side there is a bed now if you do this at night time it's not going to work what you need to do is wait for it to be daytime like it is now you come through here and then you would if i can get through the door click on that bed to set your spawn point so that clicking on that should reset my spawn point then what you would do is you would well you wouldn't take a fire resistance potion but i'm taking one for now you will put all of your stuff all of your armor all of your goods and stuff like that inside that chest you would stand on this button here uh, on this you would stand on this block here and you press right again i made a mistake there so let's cut that bit out armor, all of your goods and stuff like that inside that chest you would stand so I got you would stand on this button here rather than you would stand on this block here. You would stand on this block here. So I just need to cut that out. We shouldn't be too much of an issue. It does jump a little bit, but I don't think we need a like a transition in there. It should be okay. That chest. You would stand on this block here and you press that button and you would kill yourself. So that when you respawn, you will respawn on the other side of that wall. So basically the idea here is here is that you can only enter the vault completely naked with no tools or anything in your inventory so this basically first security measure is to make sure you've taken all your stuff off in order to move to the other side to make your way to the vault so let's assume that we've done that and i know we can break things with pickaxes and stuff like that but it's all part of the lore it's all part of the fun so let's assume we've respawned in here completely naked we would then have a door going from here which is going to lead towards the vault or at least to that big area underground where we've got all that stuff going on so that is a security thing no Right, this bit's waffle, we can get rid of that, we'll move straight on to the next part of the video. Let's see what this is. Stuff going on. The issue with this obviously is if you uh, if you do this at night, you're going to actually end up sleeping in that bed, which isn't ideal, we don't want to actually be able to do that. And the reason there's a minecart there is also uh, in case you accidentally end up inside that room for whatever reason, you're not going to be completely stuck, you're not going to be forced to keep going in an eternal loop. And the reason that minecart... Right, so I've, I've started again there, so I obviously wasn't happy with the first cut there, so let's go back to that. In that bed, which isn't ideal, we don't want to actually be able to do that. And the reasons are... And the reasons are... Do that, and the reason... The reason... I need, and the reason, which again, everything's sort of combined, so it's difficult to find that point, that cut point. And the reasons are... The reasons are... The reasons... And the reasons... So it's there. That's where I need to cut it. Actually, be able to do that. And the reason that mine. Right, so let's put a uh, transition in there because that was a big jump cut. Don't want to actually be able to do that. And the reason that minecart's in there, the other side of this wall, is that in case you come through here and you've got nothing on you and you keep dying and you can't make your way into the vault, 
what you'll keep respawning in this bit of the room so you can just click on that minecart there and get yourself back out again so that's the reason that's there right next next part of the plan okay so again we're moving on to something else that's that little uh, segment finished i like it when music sort of tails off at the same time but it's not this one's actually carrying on so i'm not gonna make a big deal in the video about that moving on to the next segment i'm just going to put a little dissolve in there like for the rest of them and leave the music playing in the background plan okay then so from my inventory you should be able to see i have many many different types of brick and stone equivalents or variants or what they've whatever they're called and the idea now is before i start working on anything else i want to go and dress this area downstairs which i've just realized i can no longer get to so let's see if we can uh, make a little path to it this this bit down here i want this to be spawn proof I want it to be big, I want it to be looming, I want it to look really cool. So I'm going to use all of these different types of blocks and, and variants and things like that to try and make the... Oh dear, ouch. Yeah, to try... Levy says, love it, very smooth so far. Well, I'm hoping you're talking about my video and not something going on in the chat, so thank you if you are. Try and make this look like really gross, but spawn proof and dark and dingy and stuff. And then I'm going to fill the whole bottom of it up with lava and we're going to have big towers coming up and it's going to be amazing. Hopefully. Anyway. Hello. And the way I'm going to... Right, so this one just moves on. There's no sort of end of a paragraph, if you like. If you imagine your video is a story and it's written in chapters and paragraphs, um, where we had that music break earlier on, if you like, this, this big gap here and then it moving on to that next section that's like the end of a chapter moving on to the next chapter this bit here what we're doing now is sort of like the end of a paragraph if you like so it's uh, it's a important but it's not important enough to do anything with the audio or anything like that does that make sense i hope so hopefully anyway hello and the way i'm gonna do that is basically to just start from the top really i'm gonna try and shape it as much as possible make sure these flat surfaces are gone get rid of any of the light sources and then just put down slabs and things on any flat dark surfaces and try and yeah jankify it all up a bit i guess although oh dear oh oh dear <laughs> Right, at this point in the video, I got kicked out and I did talk my way through getting put back into the game again and it took ages and ages and ages. But to be honest with you, sitting there watching somebody unable to join into a game is boring and considering how long this video could potentially be with the rest of the clips we've got, I'm going to cut it all out and just have me getting back in again. So we need to find the point where I talk about actually getting back in again rather than all this stuff while I'm stuck out of the video. I hope I'm not dead when I join back in. Oh no having a moment well i've opened and closed the realm ah there we go i'm back in i'm back in thankfully i am on the right one there we go so i'm back in the video at that point there so we get rid of all that junk bring that back up there and this is probably a good point to start the next bit of music as well because the other ones run out so let's grab some more music and I like Funny Song. That's a good one. Let's bring Funny Song down here and let's put that in. Please. Let's just make sure I haven't used that one already. The way I do that is just, hold, well, you can see by the, the length of the audio and the audio shape. But also if you put your mouse over it, you can see what track it is. And I can just make sure that none of those are also Funny Song. Buddy, and that one should be ukulele. Yeah, it is. It's It's having a moment. It won't let me back in. So I'm just going to again put a dissolve That's in all. there. Oh, what's this? That's rubbish. We don't want any of that. Let's bring that up that way. And see what happens. Oh, no. It's having a moment. It's having a moment. It won't let me back in at all. Please, please let me back on. Ah, there we go. I'm back in. There we I'm go. Back so it in. makes it Thankfully, look like it was a lot right less time one, than I was actually out, but that. it's better. Let's... Yes, I am. Very good. I'm on the right one, aren't I? Let's just double check that. Ah, there we go. I'm back in. I'm back in. Thankfully, I am on the right one, aren't I? Let's just double check that. Yes, I am. Very good. Okay, so now I can actually, uh, yeah, actually start doing this then, I guess. Right, the rest of that one was just all blank. There was nothing on it, so I must have just forgotten to stop recording that clip. And let's move into the next one. And I can see already that first bit's a load of nonsense. So let's bring in where I actually start talking properly in there. And again, put our little dissolve in. I guess. 
Okay, well, for now I've only put the slabs in. You can't really see a great deal because I've had to do a lot of scaffolding and this is exactly the reason why- Dryfish says, do you have a Discord? I do! I do, link to it is on my website and the website should be on a card on this video actually, so you should be able to find it. Why dirt scaffolding is better than normal scaffolding and that's because you can place it horizontally. I've had to do all this scaffolding. What I've done is I've gone around the entire thing, apart from the bottom, I haven't done any of the bottom floor, but all the walls, making sure every single spawnable block has a slab on top. So I haven't put any of the walls or the stairs or anything like that in yet. And that is just basically to stop this thing becoming a mob farm. Because there are plenty of mob farms on the server that people are genuinely trying to use. If this thing's full of mobs, it's just going to ruin everything for everyone else. So now that all of the walls are... Zloy says it's more efficient than just having his Discord link in the video description because it isn't at all. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'm still new to live streams, all right? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Alls are, yeah, slammed out. Now I need to make it actually look half decent, and it's very difficult to really tell what's going on at all. Stop this thing becoming a mob farm. Because... There are plenty of mob farms on the server that people are genuinely trying to use. If this thing's full of mobs, it's just going to ruin everything for everyone else. So now that all of the walls are, yeah, slammed out, now I need to make it actually look half decent. And it's very difficult to really tell what's going on at all with all this, uh, this dirt scaffolding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get my walls and stairs and go and make this look all janky and horrible. Right, the music, to me, feels like it's a little bit loud in the background there. So let's just see what channel it's on. It's on number four, which is... That's actually the the quietest one we've got. So this song's actually probably... Must be quite loud. Oh! <laughs> Mitz, no! <laughs> Keep your money in your pocket! Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Wow, that's amazing. If it hasn't popped up on screen, Mitz has just super chatted for £48.99. pence. That's like, if I do the exchange rate right, that's like $4,000. That's amazing. Thanks, Mitz. Thank you very much. Horrible. Right, it's a bit difficult to really tell the... Not really $4,000. I'm joking. I just realised there's a lot of people from all over the world here that probably don't know the exchange rate. So, uh... <laughs> Just thought that would, yeah, that's my my sort of humour. But then I realised I'm probably misleading people quite a lot there. So sorry. <laughs> it's still loads of money. Forty eight ninety nine is still loads and loads of money. It's more like like sixty seventy dollars. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, digging a hole, digging a hole, putting my foot in my mouth firmly. I'm going away now. I'll see you. I'll see you later. I'm not really gone. Foxy, why don't you import that music into Audition or something to re reduce the volume there? Because, Russ Orla, in uh, the latest version of Premiere Pro, it pretty much has everything you can do in Audition already inside it. So I could double-click that audio, or I could open the effect controls, and I can change the level of it here. Or, if I didn't want to do that, I can actually click on this little line here, which is the volume as well. So I don't have to jump out into another program and change it just for this, I can do very, very quick edits in Premiere Pro on the fly without having to muck about jumping in between programs. Uh, this has actually made life a lot easier. I used to do all of my audio work in Audition then import it in as a separate track. And now I don't need to, because it's all there. Hurrah! This look all janky and horrible. Right, it's a bit difficult to really tell the scale of what I've done there, but I've pretty much filled in every single gap and hole with walls and stairs and slabs and I've made it look really janky. It actually looks a lot better with night vision. You can really see what's going on with night vision. So let's me see if I can get some night vision and I'll show you what's happening. And there we go. Three bottles of night vision. Very, very good. Let's go back over to the bank. Oh, I can go. Well, I don't need any of that. That was just me getting night vision. The next bit, I'll probably have it already. What's happening? Right, let's drink it up and let's go through the little storeroom area and let's have a look down there now. So have a look what it looks like with the night vision. So you should be able to see... Oh, I don't like scaffolding. I just want to crouch. Yeah, I've basically uh, done lots of walls and slabs and all sorts of different things. I've got some moldy stuff growing. I've got, yeah, all sorts of stuff going on all the way down. I've been around the whole thing and there shouldn't be any spawnable spots anywhere in this entire room now apart from the... 
Russ Alder says, but if you save it as a lower volume, you will be ready any time you wish to reuse that audio. Ah, that's true, but in some cases, I might want it louder, like if I'm doing a time lapse or if my audio is particularly loud at some point. Um, my editing process is pretty fluid. It's not always the same. Sometimes my microphone's further away from me, sometimes it's closer. I adjust everything per video just to make sure I'm happy with it. If you get in this in the sort of routine of doing exa everything exactly the same, all of your videos will all, all be exactly the same. They won't have that uniqueness to them anymore. And uh, yeah, it's 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 I don't know. I just I think you do a better job if you approach everything. Although I've got my templates set out, I do tweak everything every video to make sure I'm happy with it all. And that, then then you get it out nicely. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm rambling anyway. Shut up. Oh, apart from the bottom. So what's going to happen is the bottom's going to be full of lava and we're going to have pillars coming up that we have to jump between to get down to the vault. And that's what I need to do next. So I'm going to put the lava in last because obviously that's the most dangerous. The other thing I do need to do is I need to add little bits of really dim lighting in sort of behind things around here just to just to illuminate the cave a little bit but without it being too bright. So things like redstone And torches and glowstone behind blocks is going to be good for that. Right then, I've added in a little... Right, this bit, exact, you know, this is proves the point we just said there. This first bit of audio, I forgot to move my microphone in front of my face. So you can hear the difference. You can hear the reverb because it's picking me up from across, well, not across the room, but across the other side of the desk. So listen to that. Right then, I've added in a little bit... Oh, microphone. Right, okay. But I did remember, so check out the difference in that. So just, it was only maybe, I don't know, a foot away from me in that first bit there. That first bit may be a foot away from me, and then that's what it's like when it's actually in front of my face. So that's a big difference. So if I had the same audio levels for everything and I was just copying and pasting, my videos would sound really weird in some places. Right then, I've added in a little bit... Oh, microphone. Right, okay, I've added in a little... Completely different, completely different. It makes sense to do it the way I do it, I promise you. I've been doing it a long time, about five years now-ish, and then some before I started YouTube. Dark M and Pixel Riffs are here for that issue. What? They're not here in... No, they're not here in the stream. <laughs> what was that all about? Jay Stiegmayer says, When will you do a face cam video? Never, ever, ever. Because that's just an added layer of stress to an already stressful thing to do, which is making a live stream. As I said in one of my previous streams, I don't want to have to dress up and do my hair and make sure everything's perfect and I don't have any, like, weird <laughs> bits on my face. Not that I would have, but the, I, would, I don't want to worry about my appearance, basically, just so I can put out a live stream. I want to be able to sit there. Last time I was doing one of these, I was in my jammers. <laughs> I just want to sit there, record a video, and and or put a live stream out without having to stress about what I look like, or am I pe pulling funny faces, or do I look a bit weird? Is the lighting right? Have I got the camera in the right place? Have I got enough memory left on the memory card? All that sort of stuff. It's not worth it. It's just, just extra stress. It's not, I don't enjoy it. And Zloy says he has no face and he must stream. It's going to be good for that. Right, okay. I've added in a little bit of detail. We've got a little bit of a waterfall going down here. We've got some lighting sort of inside some of the blocks. We've got some redstone torches, a couple of glowstone blocks about, and obviously that lava falling down there as well. So we've got a little bit of detail going on that's allowing us to see in here a little bit more without any night vision, which is nice. It's still pretty dark over there, so I might add a little bit more lava or something that way. But I don't want to do it too low to the ground because obviously there's going to be lava in the floor that's going to shine upwards. But that does look pretty dark around here. So let's maybe just add a light source in here somewhere. Let's come around this bit around here and let's punch out one of those holes there like that. Stick a red tone stone torch in it like that. And then we'll just sort of add those around so that's invisible because it will shine through the slabs. That's pretty good. And then if we do like a glowstone lamp over there, that should work pretty well, I think. Sort of particularly dark in this area here, so I'm going to... Right, I'm going to get rid of that because that's just me adding another light in. It's pretty boring and the video's going on a bit. I think. All right, looking right. There's a big gap of no audio there, so I'm going to cut that out, move that across, put again another transition in there. Worked pretty well, I think. All right, looking around this, we've got like a dark band around this bit, so I need to add some redstone torches and stuff around there. And this that side, this corner's completely dark, so I think lava dripping down here somewhere would be good. Right, before we do that... 
I need some more music because the music's run out and we had a nice cut point there where I can add some more in. So I, rather than going for more bend sound, because a lot of them aren't the same sort of thing, some of them are a bit sad, not really suitable for the, the mood of the video, some of them are like action stuff. Some of them have been completely stolen by Recap. I can't use any of those, so I actually recently got a load more music from uh, from YouTube, which has a free source of it, and also there's loads of free sources online. And one of them is freestockmusic.com, and I've organized these into Habby, Staff, Uplifting, and Action Type Music, so it's easy for me to find in future. And we're going to pick some some of the happy music, which I think other people have used as well. I'm pretty sure I've heard these in some of some of other people's videos. American Fox 73 says, is it difficult to edit? Well, you be the judge of that. That's exactly what we're doing now. I don't think it is, but then I've been doing it a long time. So it's up to you guys to, to make that decision. Really, all you're doing is you're using a cut tool, which is that one there, chopping it up and then moving it about and then adding adding like audio to it. But I, I go into a little probably a bit more depth than some people and less depth than others. So I guess, yeah, it's it's up to you how you do it at the end of the day. Now this is very upbeat, possibly a little bit too upbeat. That probably fits in more with the mood of my videos, although we're underground dealing with lava, so maybe not at this point in the video. Definitely not. No. Yeah, that'll do. Let's see how loud that is. Lava bucket on me. That's quite so quiet. Where are we going to drip it down? And it needs to go somewhere as well. Cause... Probably a little bit loud on that track. Let's move it to that one. All right, looking around this, we've got like a dark band around this bit. So I need to add some redstone torches and stuff around there. And this that side, this corner's... Yeah, that's okay. So let's just bring that forward a little bit like that. So we bring it in line with there. And then we'll listen to what we're talking about again. I think. All right, looking around this, we've got like a dark band around this bit. So I need to add some redstone torches and stuff around there. And this that side, this corner's completely dark. So I think lava dripping down here somewhere will be good. I've got one more lava bucket on me. So where are we going to drip it down? And it needs to go somewhere as well, because otherwise it's just going to kill anything that's at the bottom of it. So... I don't know, maybe we could have it running down some of these blocks here and cascading down there. I don't want it to spread too much though. Where did that go? Oh, we're getting kicked from the realm again. How did I just lose that lava then? So at this point, I've actually I've clicked to put some lava down and it's disappeared. And normally when I've got gaps like that, I would cut them out. But because I'm... I'm actually hesitant in game, waiting for something to happen, wondering where that lava's gone. Is it suddenly going to reappear and drip everywhere, or is it just going to disappear, or am I going to get kicked out? I'm going to leave those points in, because that's adding a little bit of suspense into the video. It's not quietness and boring. It's the, the viewers waiting as well. Oh, what's going on there? Why? Where's that lava gone? Is something going to happen? So by leaving those points in of quietness, that adds to that sort of effect of it, really. Down there. I don't want it to spread too much, though. Where did that go? Dryfish says, what question do you hate the most or hear the most? Uh, well, they're, they're two, two different questions, really. Um, mm, uh, good question. I don't know. I hear, can I join your realm? Probably the most. And that's probably the one I hate the most as well. No, I, I don't know. I don't hate that, that at all. I get a lot of people that want to join my realm my realm is is basically you can join it but it's behind a, a paywall of patreon and the reason for that as i've gone into millions of times is a to make it so it's adults only because i don't think it's appropriate to play online with kids or certainly for me i don't want to be putting a realm out there that i'm i'm responsible for and things you know having kids playing with adults in a in an uncontrolled environment i don't think that's a suitable thing to do so it's adults only for that reason and the reason it's behind a paywall as well is because generally nine times out of ten or in fact 99 times out of a hundred people if they're gonna grief or steal or or, not, or just join and have a look around and then disappear again or waste your time they won't do that if they're not prepared to put their hand in their pocket so rather than me putting out applications and reading through them and doing admin and trying to figure out who's who's a good person to add based on their online profile if they've got one I just make it patreon and that way if people want to join they can and if they don't they don't so yeah 
Can you play Roblox? Says Lloyd. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that now. Let's get rid. No, no, never ever. <laughs> Much though. Where did that go? Oh, we're getting kicked from the realm again. How did I just lose that lava then? <laughs> what? Well, that's absolutely well and truly gone. So now I need some more lava. Great. Thank you very much, game. <laughs>
we could add in some fire sort of around the place as well, make this thing look a little bit more threatening because we want this place to look daunting and scary when people come to go to the vault. Right, I've put a block glowstone block in there. Let's see if that makes any difference for this. Let's hop down. Yeah, that's nicely illuminated that. So it's still got that darkness about it, but it's not completely dark. That's that's a lot more interesting. Yeah, I like it. I like how this room's coming together. Okay, so now I'm working on these bridgey things that are all broken and janky. Obviously, if you can imagine, the bottom of this is going to be filled with lava. So this thing's going to be sticking out of it. And I've got this like janky, broken brick thing. Let's go to the top so you can see what it looks like for the top. And the idea here is that when we're in that room with the bed in, we're going to drop through the floor and land on this first one here. So that's like the first one. So if you can imagine, there's going to be another one after that and another one after that slowly leading down that you've got to jump down to. So you can only ever go one way. You can't get back again. And let's just see. I don't think it'll even line up. I've not even thought about where the hole's going to be in that room yet. So let's just go have a, a little bit of a dig in here and see what we can do in terms of that then. Let's just break those out of the way a second. Really, we want it to be like like in the corner. Oh, yeah, of course. We're in the corner here somewhere. I don't know where it's going to come out. Um, I haven't thought this through, really. Where's that? Are we anywhere near? I don't want to. I don't dare. No, <laughs> nowhere near. Right, okay. Right, I need to plan this out a little bit better then. Okay, so I've actually done quite a decent amount of work since the last clip and I'm oh, actually microphone in front of my face would be helpful so again the microphone wasn't quite in the right position there it didn't sound as bad as it did before but that was a mistake I'm gonna guess this bit's also a mistake okay I've actually done quite a little bit of work since the last clip that we recorded yep that's a mistake so let's get rid of that let's bring that into that one there and let's put another dissolve in a bit better then Okay, so I've actually done quite a bit of stuff since uh, since I last showed you anything, and I've just put on a little button there so that I can drop down there. This is now our way into the mines. This scaffolding will disappear. It's just for just for show for now, just so that we can get around easy. And we've got these platforms that lead all the way down. So we've got this big one that we built earlier, and then we have to jump over onto this one like that, and then we go this way onto there, and then we've got a big jump down to that one there, and that will take us all the way to the vault here. And obviously, because they are laid out like this, there's no way to go back up again. Once you start this journey, there's no way to go back. And I'm really, really happy with how this is all coming through so far. There's absolutely nothing there yet. I haven't even started working on a vault at all. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm really happy with how that's come along, actually. They, it's come on together very nicely. If we go down and look at them from the bottom, they all look very, very janky and loose and wobbly. That one probably looks a little bit too over the top wobbly, to be honest. That should have fallen down years ago. But I like them. I think they look good. So the next job now is to fill all of this bit up with lava, which I'm not looking forward to doing because I will fall in it. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be smooth lava either. It's all going to be running lava and, like, jiggity-jaggity and all over the place. Fire resistance potions to the ready. Right, we don't need that bit there, so we can cut that. We'll bring that straight into the next bit. So hopefully... Oh, I thought that was going to be me going to the nether. It's not. So we're playing with lava. Maybe we should have something that's got a little bit of suspense in it, music. Uh, there is one that comes to mind, which I can't remember the name of off the top of my head now but it's like kind of like almost like a game show um you know when people have got to make a decision that's hyper music uh, i've used it quite a few times before let's see if i can find it oh there's so many so many musics i use in my videos and i can never remember the name oh it's called the framework that's it but i'm not 100 percent. that's really ideal for this because i don't actually i don't actually die but we'll try it we'll see what happens if we put that in Do a transition Place. over a lava block going from left to right. What do you mean, Zloy? Place. Right, I've got my buckets of lava, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the edges, and we're just going to pour it, pour it down from the edges. What I might do, just to make this a little bit easier, is I might level this off, because this is going to be a bit difficult, getting the lava flowing around all of these holes and things. So if I just level this off, that will make the whole thing a little bit easier I think and I also need to gather these torches as well so that they don't all just get burned to death in the lava I guess okay it's very dark but that's the terrain pretty much smoothed off I've left, left just a couple of holes for the uh, lava to flow in just to make it a little bit more interesting but yeah it's very very dark now I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to work my way forwards and hopefully 
I'm not going to burn to death. I do have fire resistance on my hotbar, so it should be okay. But we kind of want the lava up at... Oh, we need to get rid of this scaffolding before we do this. So we want to start doing those... Right, so really I want to be adding, starting that music there where I actually start placing the lava because it has almost run out by that point. You know that meme where semi-transparent formulas are flying by as the person thinks? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, send me a picture. Ping me on Discord a picture. Do this. So I guess we want to start doing those at around about that sort of level so they can drip down and drip through and spread about. I've no idea how far this lava's going to go. Probably not very far at all, to be honest with you. I probably have to go back and do a lot of trips to the nether to get more lava. Right, that's all the buckets of lava I've got so far. That's nine buckets of lava in here, and it really doesn't seem to have gone very far at all. Is it? Why is it not running? I thought it would spread further than that. Is it lag? That's not very good. Right, I'm going to have to go get loads more buckets of lava then. Great. And now I can't get out of here. Um, <laughs> help! <laughs> all right, I've spent a lot of iron. I've got myself a Yeah, no, that music doesn't fit there at all, really. So I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use the normal type of music. It was a nice idea, but the, the clip lengths just doesn't sort of add themselves into that. So let's see if we can find something else a little bit more suitable. Definitely not that one. Hmm. Oh, this is my comedy one, by the way, when something funny happens. It's called Cartoon Hoedown. <laughs> I might just bring in uh, Funny Song again by Ben Sound. I quite like that one. That's a little idea. Which one's Funny Song? I think it's that one. Yeah, we'll probably bring that one in again. A lot of buckets <laughs> of lava. <laughs> Sloy says, you've got to add that music just so the viewer knows that something is funny. Well, <laughs> there is literally no other way to tell. Are you trying to tell me my jokes aren't funny and that, that it's like canned laughter on, you know, like the Big Bang, Bang Theory programs where you've got the, the applause and the laughing in the background to signify to the person psychologically that's a joke, so therefore you have to laugh at it. That's exactly the same thing I'm doing, but with music. It's, it's, it's not because my jokes are bad. <laughs> Honest. Alright, I've spent a lot of iron. I've got myself a lot of buckets of lava now. Or well, a lot of buckets with no lava in it. Now I need to go and get some lava in them. Let's do this. This could all end. This could all end. We've got another mistake there at the beginning. So let's just chop that out. Bring that up. Put another dissolve in there. Let's do this. This could all end in tears. <laughs> I've come to the nether and I don't have any weapons on me. All I've got Slow is a Sloy says, thanks for explaining my joke there. Again, it wasn't fully until you explained it. Well, you're welcome, Sloy. You're absolutely welcome. Oh, dear. Sorry. Right, shush you. This is the exciting part of the video. You distracted me with the, with the chat. In you tears, are. I've come to the nether and I don't have any weapons JC, on me. All I've got look, ah, I'm answering questions. <laughs> Jay says, when are you going to upload this video? It's going to come out on Tuesday. This could all end in tears. I've come to the nether and I don't have any weapons on me. All I've got is a pickaxe. So this was not a smart idea considering there are gas and blazes around. There are blazes just down there as well. And that's where I was going to get the lava from. Oh, um, I might need a Don't stop chatting, here. by the way. I uh, like reading I it, really. I was only around kidding. here before they get me? Let's come round this side and let's just grab as many as we can. Go, 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 go. How many can I get? Can I fill up my inventory? I don't want to. I don't want to start throwing them in the water. Oh, look at that! Perfect, perfect, just the right amount. Right. I want a free hand so I don't spill lava on me. Now run away! <laughs> um, how do I get out? No blazes, go away, go away, blazes, go away! Ow! Stop it! I've got fire resistance too, you know. I'm nearly home. I'm nearly. Right, we don't need that. I'm nearly home. That's pretty self-explanatory that I made it out okay there. So we can move on to the next clip. We know. And there we go. I'm free. I'm back out of the nether. I didn't die. That's. I thought it would flow. Right, we can come back straight back to that bit there. We don't need to tell the story of how I got back there. That's pointless. It's a waste of time. Distance two, you know. I thought it would flow like water. Why doesn't it flow? I don't understand. 
Ah, now it's flowing. Now it's flowing. I'm on fire. I'm all right. I'm good. And there we go. That's the end of that bit, pretty much. So we're nearly at the end of the video now. This is pretty much right at the end. So we've, we've got me just looking over it and signing out, which is it, it's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And the length isn't too bad either. We're around about 23, 24 minutes. So that's pretty good. Let's see, the music does end before the end of the clip, which is good, so we don't have to fade that out. We can add a little bit of ending music on there as well, which would be good. On fire. I'm all right. I'm good. Okay, so I believe I've pretty much completely finished doing all the lava in here now. However, I have noticed there was a couple of zombies spawning. I'm not sure where they're spawning because I thought I'd slabbed everything. So we need to get rid of those guys. But I'm going to guess that one's on that block down there. And that one must be coming from somewhere around there. I'm not 100% sure there. Where may, maybe on upside down stairs? Can they spawn on upside down stairs? I don't know. But I'm going to get rid of them. Rather than going down there and actually dealing with it, I'm going to just kill them and hopefully they won't come back again. Right, before we look at the rest of this, this point here is where I say bye, that bit there. Bye! I always line that up with this particular song. When I use this song, I always lined it up with the end part here. That did ling So that there is going to be lined up at the point where I say bye. So as I say bye, we get that little diddle ling and we know that bit there is the trail off where you get those sort of little end screens on the video where it asks you to click on the next video or subscribe. So that's what that's there Bob's for. Bob's in here anywhere. As you can see, the lava is, uh, is pretty deadly now. It's all the way round. It looks gross. It looks pretty lethal and terrifying. <gasps> and no, uh, <laughs> I nearly fell then myself. I do have a little bit of fire resistance left, but... Yeah, it's slow walking through lava, and there's only one exit right at the bottom, so I don't really want to fall down. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with how this room has come together, all together. And then, we've, like, we've got this, uh, yeah, bit here where the vault is going to be. But I've just realised <laughs> i got no way out now. Oh, no. So, on that note, I guess it probably is a good time to say... Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! So there we go. That's the whole video done. Just sort of 25, short of 25 minutes. I'm not going to watch it all back just yet. I'll, what I'll do at this point, I would normally just render it out watch it once it's rendered and then if it's okay upload it to youtube what i'm going to do for now though because we're on a video is i'm going to encode it or i'm going to up uh, sorry no i'm not i'm going to queue it up for being rendered and i'm basically just going to call it truly bedrock 20 and this is the bank so we'll save that and we'll queue that it's already got all my settings that i need to set that up that's going to go into a, adobe media encoder which will then render that later on when i'm ready for it but for now what i do need to do is we need to create a thumbnail for this so we can do a little bit of photoshopping i guess if you're all up for that either that or we can end the stream there because that's pretty much it finished it's up to you let me know what you want to do And the chat went dead. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thanks. No, don't end the stream, says Prasad. I, I am assuming that's how you talk. That's how everybody that I don't know talks. <laughs> right, thumbnails. We can watch the thumbnails, says Ben Creole. Russ Alder says, keep stream. Chronicles of Laura says, show the thumbnail making. All right, then. All right, you've twisted my arm. Let's do this. So this is Photoshop. I have one file that's got all of my truly bedrock thumbnails in from start to finish and the reason I have that is it's just it's easy to basically copy and paste so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the last one which was episode 19 I'm going to put that into its own one episode 20 and then I can make changes to that without affecting the other ones we want to get rid of all this sheepy stuff because we're not going to be using that and we need to get rid of I beat Zloy we can probably just put something like the the bank I don't know Something like that anyway, but we're not going to worry about that text right now. The first thing we're going to do is get some screenshots that we want to actually add into this thing. There's two ways of doing that. The first way is to actually use the video to save a screenshot of the actual footage, or the second way is to go onto a download of the world and use creative mode to get the, you know, like a good angle on certain things. Well, let's just have a quick flick through here and let's see if we've got a decent screenshot of the bank from the front and also of that obviously the big lava pit that we did because they're like the most important parts of this i guess
Do we have a bit where I actually finish the bank? Should be round here somewhere, surely. There it was. There it is. It's round this point. So if I zoom in, I should be able to smooth scroll through that a bit better. Yeah, we could use that, but it's not. I don't really like it. So we might actually load up Minecraft and download the world and and do it that way. I think that's probably going to be better for us, to be honest. Then we can get the screenshots we want. So here's Minecraft. It's loading up. You might notice uh, the screen start. The stream starts jittering about a bit at the moment because I've got a lot of things running. So uh, if that happens, don't worry. It'll come back. So this is the Realm TB2 is the one we play on. I'm going to download that. Oh, by the way, if anyone, any of the players from the Realm are on this, then they can always ask me to do a download of the world so they can do their own screenshots and things. That's not a problem. Um, but yeah, I, I guess because I'm the Realm owner, I've got the advantage of being able to do that whenever I want, I guess. But yeah, I would more than happily do downloads for anybody that asks me that plays on the Realm. Not for people that don't play on it, though. Although there will be a world download for this Realm when we finish the season so there we go you can all play on it at some point in the future that'll be amazing all right we've got a download of the world we've got tb2 copy i'm going to rename that so i remember what it is so we'll put bank screens and we're going to activate cheats on this one yes continue and play First thing to do is go in create creative mode. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings and video and I'm going to change my field of view to 40 or round about 40 rather than 70, which makes it look kind of weird, but that's actually really good for screenshots because you get a much more sort of human like angle on it than you would do from the the sort of the standard 70 that we play. And now we've just got to try and get an angle on this that doesn't look too too bad. Now looking having something like this building in the foreground sort of obscuring the picture can can sometimes work for you but in this particular scenario i don't think that's a very good thing to add so we'll probably come round like that although it looks like a piggy bank at the minute uh yeah something like that so if i press the screenshot buttons which i think is windows alt and print screen hopefully that will give us a screenshot let's find out Yep, it has. So yeah, bed Windows 10 edition can be a bit temperamental when you take screenshots. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. The other good thing about this being a creative world is I can literally break my way through into the downstairs bit. There we go. I don't have to worry too much about uh, yeah this this world being kept for a long time. Let's get rid of that scaffolding because that looks horrible. Get rid of all that and pick all of those bits up. Now on this bit, because it's quite a large room and we've not got a lot of room to stand in, we might want to actually open up our field of view a little bit for this. I don't know what the best place to get a get a screenshot from this room would be. Rather, maybe from below. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe around there. That should do. Maybe. I don't really know if that really gives a good idea of what's going on. Maybe we could almost do it like that, so you get a better idea. It'd be nice if we had a player actually jumping from one side to the other, so we could really get an idea of what's going on there. But obviously, there's only me in this world at the moment, so. We can't really do that. Take a few of these. We'll take some from from down there. We don't want them too dark. We want them to be relatively bright because dark thumbnails don't get clicked on. You get more clicks on brighter, fun looking thumbnails I've found than you do dark ones. So let's, I don't know. I don't know, it's a tricky one this one. Very tricky. Let's do that. Let's see what we've got with those. I've not disappeared, by the way. I'm just moving those into the right folder. I've, I'm working on a different screen. Sorry, you can't see that. All right, where's Photoshop gone? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to bring in that one. And that one. And that one. And that one because they've all got lots of brightness on. We're going to get rid of the TB logo for a second, which is that one. And let's just make these fit nicely. So we definitely want the one with the bank on. That's very important, that thumbnail. That sort of shows everybody what we're going to be doing in the video. 
and we could actually just make that really big like that and bring it over to one side and then if we bring that down below and use that vertical line there as a split point so everything over the other side of that we're going to get rid of using that button no we need to do the inverse of that like that so that's half of it and then we can use one of these other ones as the other part so let's pick that one maybe i don't know which one do you think's better one two or three maybe three actually i quite like that one that's pretty cool but will that fit well on the other side of this is that going to fit well there everyone's saying three Three's in the chat. So left hand side of it or right hand side of it or somewhere in the middle. Or maybe we could even zoom in a bit further, do you think? No, not zooming in further. Although we could move the bank slightly further that way and then get more of this on that side. The other thing, if I really wanted to spend loads of time working on this, the other thing I could do to emphasize these things would be something I've done in the past, which would be to literally cut out anything in the foreground using this tool, um, not in the janky way that I'm doing it at the minute, but basically you cut out something in the foreground and then you blur the background and that makes the foreground stand out a bit so you can see the 3D-ness a bit more. But I'm not going to do that for the sake of this one because it takes absolutely ages. So we'll stick on the Truly Bedrock logo probably up there. And then we're going to add some effects onto this. Do you see how the color changes slightly on there? I add that to all my screenshots. It's, again, very, very subtle brand recognition stuff. It just adds a little bit of blue into the shadows and a little bit of yellow into the highlights just to make it pop a little bit. And then I add a little bit of brightness and contrast on there as well to make it pop. I'm actually going to add a little bit more brightness on this one because it's very dark and maybe bring the contrast up a little bit more just just to try and stop it being quite so dark in the dark bits maybe round there somewhere i don't although that that one seems a little bit dark now so let's just put some a curves adjustment on that one as well there we go like that what do you think does that look any good let me know in the chat and then we've got the bank Um, maybe what could we put what we could rewrite that signifies that this is dangerous and exciting this bit on here Zloy says add layer gradient yellow to orange over set it to overlay dramatic lighting okay we can do that it's not a problem new layer yellow on that one to what was it yellow to orange and then we want the gradient tool, which is hiding behind there. What? Vertically, like that, or inverted, the other way up. It's a little bit very dramatic, that's Loy. <laughs> yeah, you could uh, you could definitely bring out the sunshine with that one. The other way, the other thing I do on um, like on some of my videos, if I want a bit more dramatic stuff going on. I will do the same sort of thing, but with black and white. So let's just bring that layer up nice and uh, bright again. And I'll do a black tint from the top. No, other way around, like that. And then you've got that, although that's probably a little bit too small. Something like that, and then just fade that out a little bit. And a color dodge is often pretty good on that one as well. No, not color dodge, which one is it? One of the lights. I don't know, but yeah, that, that brings the blue out of the sky as well, doing it that way. But you, you lose a little bit of the detail on the bottom. Well, that's not, not too bad for that one. That look, kind of looks all right. Any ideas for the text, though, on this side more than anything?
<laughs> Sloy says, eh, it didn't work because I'm not the one doing it. I kind of know what you mean, Sloy. The Foxy Bank. <laughs> Ideas for text. Secure your diamonds. I don't know. It's a bit long, that. Uh, I like, I like, uh, like, clickbaity. <laughs> Vault's coming on the next one. Catfolk784 says you could just say vault. Yeah, the vault's going to be the next video. We're not actually done the vault yet. That's just the first bit on the way to the vault. In the next video, we're going to have all sorts of different rooms and traps and puzzles and things to get to the vault. So this is just the starter. Sloy should be doing it for me, says the lamest guy. Shut up, yo. I could do it myself, you know. How to build a castle. <laughs> How to build a castle. Uh, what's, the, what's the other one? Um, <laughs> dupli... Latest... New... Dupe... Glitch. <laughs> no, no, not really. The bank. I think the bank will do. The bank will do. We can maybe make it a bit bigger and then we can change the colour of the actual word bank just to emphasise that a little bit. Maybe we could give it a nice sort of, I don't know, goldy colour. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Difficult to do this on a live stream because I don't know. It's just where my my process really doesn't lend itself to that very well. Nah, yeah, leave it white. Lava underground says plus firebot. Lava cave. It kind of is a lava cave, isn't it? We put the bank right in over that side. That will probably confuse people a little bit because it's more like, I don't know. I don't know. Nah, we'll leave it like that. That'll do for now. If anyone's got any good ideas before Tuesday for the thumbnail, please do uh, either let me know on Discord or Twitter or Facebook, I guess. Not that I really check the Facebook page. <laughs> Although Laura does. The Foxes of Wall Street. Bank beginnings. I like it, Laura. I like it. Indiana Jones episode 4000. I'm your biggest fan. I love your podcast so much. I don't think that will fit, Death Dart. I'm sorry. When are you doing the next podcast? Well, I have recorded the background video for the podcast, but I haven't thought of the topic for the podcast yet. I was kind of hoping 1.10 would come out sort of last week or this week, so I could do it on that, but mm, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, let's just save that. I think I already saved it once, didn't I? There we go. And that's everything pretty much done all i gotta do is uh, actually render the video now which all i've got to do is click play on there so i can close that i can close that and then that can start rendering and that is everything finished hurrah one video completely edited and thumbnail done in how many minutes was that one hour and 52 minutes that's pretty good bond's place is foxy your tail on fire oh you have no tail well thanks for rubbing it in thanks for pointing that out i really appreciate it Catthoke says, rumour was 1.10 dropping on the 19th. What made you what what made you guess that rumour? I don't think I don't know. It'll be like within the next week or two, because it's in it's in what's the word? Certification, which normally takes about a week unless they get it wrong. Unless it has to be recertified. I ought to go, really, because I'm just sitting around now. This is going to take forever. I'm sure none of you want to sit and watch this this uh, video encode for the next half an hour. I'm sure, I'm sure you've got better things to do. So, on that note, I will say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this live stream. If you did, do please leave a like, subscribe, share, um, tell all your friends about it. Tell everybody at school or at work, or all your neighbours, go and put leaflets through their door. Let me know, or let them know, that Foxy Dotel exists and he's the best Minecrafter and YouTuber in the world. Yes. Plusbot, Firebot. No, Plus Firebot says, why is my name Foxy Notel? It just is, I'm afraid. Uh, there are videos that suggest that. You'll have to go back through all of my videos and watch them. And if you like them all and subscribe and share them all, then it magically tells you all of the questions or all of the answers to the questions you ever wanted to know. So make sure you do that. You have to do it on every single one of my videos, though, even like the uploads of the live streams. You've got to watch them beginning to end, like them and share them, and then, then the magic happens. Honestly, I'm not lying to you, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. See you later, guys. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also, my website has loads of information. See you later. Bye. Hands up in chat if you're going now, because I am. I'm leaving. <laughs>
Bye. <laughs>